from April's Home, and today I'm here with my July grocery haul. I got my groceries this week at Walmart. I'm stocking up for the 4th of July weekend, as well as my daughter's birthday, which is on the 3rd. So we have a lot of fun food for different recipes that I have planned for 4th of July, um, and just some other fun summery foods. Let's go ahead and start with the produce. I got a big bag of the premium romaine salad. I just love salad in the summer. And then some shredded iceberg lettuce for wraps and things. A big bag of carrots. And some red and yellow onions. I have some salads that I'm going to be making that I need these red onions for. And then I, of course, just use yellow for cooking. I also got a red bell pepper and two green bell peppers for a pasta salad that I'm making for 4th of July. And then I got a few snacks and things for uh, 4th of July. I had to get everything to make s'mores. So I got some um, Jet Puff marshmallows and Hershey chocolate bars. And of course some graham crackers. I got a big bag of scoops for one of the dips that I want to make. And me and my husband thought that this would be a new uh, fun flavor of smart food to try. We haven't tried this yet. It's the Parmesan garlic flavor and it just looked really good. We also got a couple packs of rice cakes. I got the lightly salted version here. I like to spread these with cream cheese and top them with like a little turkey slice or something for lunch. And then my husband picked out the caramel corn rice cakes. He likes these for snacking. We got a box of the Honeygram O's, one of our favorite cereals, and some fruit cups. This one has diced peaches, pears, and mandarin oranges, and the one down here has um, peaches, cherry mixed fruit, and mixed fruit. I got a um, six pack of the Rotel for various dips and things. I picked up a couple boxes of the tricolored rotini for my pasta salad. I got some of the Cheez-It Grips for a Sunday school snack. We needed more cornstarch. And I thought that I would get these again. I really enjoyed them last time. These are the Chips Ahoy Thins. This time I got double chocolate. I love the um, thin variety. I think that they're really good. I also thought that I would try these. These are the new Prego Ready Meals. And apparently you just microwave this. It doesn't seem very healthy, but I was just super curious what this would taste like. So I got um, the creamy three cheese Alfredo rotini and the Santa Fe style steak. I just thought it would be interesting to see how these work. Perhaps they'd be interesting to have in the pantry. So I picked up a couple of those to try out. I also picked up a box of orzo pasta. This is what we use in our chicken soups. And for 4th of July, I always like to make um, red and blue jello. So I got a cherry jello. And then a couple of this variety here from um, Jello Brand with uh, collaboration with Trolls of the cotton candy flavor, which looked really good. Also got some canned goods here, a lot of them for like barbecue uh, supplies, pork and beans, a few cans of pork and beans, um, some maple cured bacon baked beans, and then for a dessert for my daughter's birthday, we got some of the country cherry pie um, topping and also blueberry. I was really craving these, so I picked up a small can of Beanie Weenies, just the little pork and beans with hot dogs already cut up inside. It's something I grew up eating, and occasionally I just like to try them out again. And then I got a few cans of Veg All just to have on hand in the pantry. This is great for throwing in like chicken stews and things like that. Um, I picked this up at the checkout counter. I've seen this the last few times that I've um, been grocery shopping at Walmart, and I keep avoiding it, but I decided I would finally go ahead and try this out. This is the Hershey's Cookie Layer Crunch in vanilla cream, and it just looked really tasty. Also for the pantry, I picked up another jar of the Deli Slice Tamed Jalapeno Peppers and some of the grape jelly and another jar of Alfredo sauce. This is the Italian dressing I'll be using for my Italian pasta salad. And then some Sunday toppings. I was super excited to finally find pineapple topping. I have been looking everywhere for pineapple um, ice cream sundae topping and uh, every store I've been to they've been out. So they finally had it at Walmart and I was super excited. So I picked up a couple jars of the pineapple topping and then a jar also of the marshmallow topping. Then I also got for the freezer some beef taquitos and some pink lemonade and limeade. I thought I'd make up a big batch of pink lemonade for um, 4th of July. I got a can of whipped topping. And this time I decided to try out the Simply Orange with pineapple. I usually just get Simply Orange orange juice, but I thought pineapple in the orange juice would be interesting to try. We also got a um, bottle of Simply Limeade for my lime sparklers that I love to make at um, different summer holidays. And then a bottle of the Ruby Red Grapefruit Juice. And some more Pam Cooking Spray. Also for the freezer, I got a big bag of the chicken drumsticks and chicken breast tenderloins. And a couple tubs of Cool Whip for just different desserts and things. Some cream cheese. 
and some crescent rolls just for different recipes coming up. I got a thing of the squeezable daisy sour cream, which we just love, and a family size pack of the Stouffer's macaroni and cheese, which is just such a yummy side dish. A pack of the bird's eye steam fresh Brussels sprouts. I love these. They cook up so good, and I really love Brussels sprouts. I also picked up a couple packets of the original country gravy, and then also for dips, the um, ranch dips, the Hidden Valley Ranch dip packets, and five dozen eggs here. We've been going through eggs pretty regularly. I also found these little cottage cheeses I thought would be um, yummy for lunch. I got the low-fat cottage cheese with pineapple fruit on the bottom, and then also the peach variety with peach on the bottom. So I think those will be good for lunches. Then I got a bag of finely shredded Parmesan cheese. This is just so good to top um, different pasta salads as well as just regular salad and then just different uh, Italian pasta dishes. And then I got some of the natural uncured turkey kielbasa. I thought I would try this out. It's nice to have a natural version of a kielbasa. We love kielbasas, but I do not love the nitrates and things. So this one says it has no nitrates and no artificial ingredients or MSG. So it'll be great to see how uh, this tastes. They had a couple other varieties as well, so I'll have to try these, um, all the different varieties of these, and see if we can replace our regular um, kielbasa with this natural version, which would be really nice. I also got the natural um, variety of slow-roasted chicken breast from Oscar Mayer for sandwiches. A big block of Tillamook medium cheddar for my pasta salad, and then just, of course, just for cheese. A couple packs of the stadium brats for 4th of July. And just some of these um, little packs of Bar S hot dogs. They're always like a dollar under a dollar. So I like to have these in the fridge just for, you know, quick lunches and things like that through the summer. And then a pack of our Ultra Thin Swiss, our favorite cheese for sandwiches. And then just a few individual packs of lunch meat, some ham and chicken and corned beef and things like that. And then since I'll be making a bunch of other salads and dips from scratch for 4th of July, I decided to just get the French onion already made this time. And same with our potato salad. Instead of having too many salads to make it, I'm just going to focus on a couple. So I thought I would just buy this red skin potato salad. It just looked really good. It's flavored with dill and it just looks pretty yummy. I also got the dog a treat. I found her this little tiny um, pet toy. It's got a little squeaker in it. She loves the little teeny tiny toys. She carries them around and it's really cute. And then also um, some of her favorite little beef and cheese flavored twists. And then lastly, I also found this really big square-shaped galvanized tub that I thought would be perfect for um, putting drinks outside uh, for 4th of July. Just fill it with ice and put the different cans and bottles of drinks inside. And this was on sale for only $12.97, which I thought was a pretty good deal. It's really a big size um, galvanized tub here. So I got that for our 4th of July celebration. So those are all of our groceries from Walmart for the first half of July, and now I'll go ahead and share with you our two-week menu plan. So here's my menu plan for July 1st through 15th. On Saturday the 1st, we'll have quesadillas with Southwest chicken salads. On Sunday the 2nd, we'll have French toast with raspberry syrup and bacon. On Monday the 3rd, that is my daughter Sarah's birthday, and we'll be having dinner out. On the 4th of July, we'll be having a barbecue with hamburgers and hot dogs and Italian pasta salad and potato salad and corn dip and, a, and s'mores and jello and all the, all the fixings for a barbecue. On Wednesday the 5th, we'll have pork chops, rice pilaf, and Brussels sprouts. On Thursday the 6th, we'll have lemon chicken, pasta, and broccoli. On Friday the 7th, we'll have cheesy hot dogs with mashed potatoes and mixed veggies. On Saturday the 8th, we'll have cream chicken over biscuits. On Sunday the 9th, we'll have kielbasa and penne pasta with marinara and Italian veggies. On Monday the 10th, we'll have bratwurst with roasted potatoes and onions and broccoli. On Tuesday the 11th, that is a leftover night. On Wednesday the 12th, we'll have turkey burgers and salad. On Thursday the 13th, we'll have beef taquitos with fruit salad. On Friday the 14th, we'll have drumsticks, mac and cheese, mixed veggies. And on Saturday the 15th, we'll have salmon patties, baked potatoes, and carrots. So that is my meal plan for July 1st through 15th. I hope you enjoyed my July Walmart grocery haul as well as my meal plan for the first half of July. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe for more videos from April's home. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.